Well, everyone, the iPhone 8 Plus did eventually get discontinued with software, which is pretty insane. I always have, you know, I always liked the iPhone 8 Plus. I'm, I mentioned this before, but I just dropped my videos of the iPhone 8 and iPhone 10. These are all very different iPhones, and I've had way different experiences with all of them. So I want to kind of make an individual video for each individual one. And I feel like with the iPhone 8 Plus personally, this was a pretty good iPhone when it first came out. But it was also very sad when it first came out too, because this iPhone got completely overshadowed, and I mean very much overshadowed, by the iPhone 10 when this iPhone came out, because it came out literally right after it. And look at the iPhone 10's already glitching up since it got discontinued with software. Now, I will say, one, this iPhone is probably still going to be getting some sort of software updates on iOS 16. So I'm sure in the next couple of you know, moments, it's still going to be getting iOS 16. So probably in the next like year, it's probably going to be getting 16.7, 16.8, probably some version like that. Much like how the iPhone 6s and 7 are still getting iOS 15 updates, and much like how the iPhone 6 are still getting iOS 12 updates. So I think that kind of stuff is always very, very important you know, information to kind of keep in mind in the back of your head. However, this does kind of lead us into another very interesting thing, which is why Apple even discontinued this iPhone in the first place. Personally for me, iOS 17 was such a, it's not a big update, it's a fairly small update. It is very similar, in my opinion, to an iOS 13 type of update and iOS 15 type of update. Those two updates were very, very small, and honestly, I feel like this iPhone, actually I feel like the iPhone success probably could have supported iOS 17 if I'm being completely honest. So the fact that this iPhone got discontinued, it can, discontinued is insane to me in and of itself. And you can even see for yourself, I mean, what features here are there that are just so large and so complicated that the iPhone 8 Plus couldn't support it? Like, a lot of these features could have been removed. Like, there's no features there that I just showed you that probably, you know, you, like you need an iPhone XS in order to do it. And that's the cutoff, the iPhone XS or newer. That's basically the iPhone you need to have in order to actually use iOS 17. Now another thing, I kind of mentioned this before, but if, you, but if you haven't watched my three other videos on the same thing, you'll be able to see that in 2022, Apple discontinued five different iPhones, the 6S, 6S Plus, 7, 7 Plus, and the iPhone SE first generation. In 2023, Apple went ahead and discontinued another three iPhones, 10, 8, and 8 Plus. Those are eight different iPhones Apple discontinued in literally like a one year span, basically. So it's pretty insane. I'm not looking forward to the future of these iPhones because there's really not one. I'm hoping iOS 17 emerges into a really big update, but I guess we're going to see what happens. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video.